Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading for the last week of December, from December 28 till December 31. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below the video. This is a general love reading, I also recommend you check your rising or moon sign readings here on this channel. Now let's start with your reading. First let's shuffle the deck uh, five times for you. One. Two more shuffles. And the last one. Many cards filled out. The overall energy for you, Ace of Pentacles, a message, a message coming towards you, maybe a new connection or, or a job opportunity at the same time. Let's see. The current, Eight of Wands, okay, Six of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Definitely expect some communication soon. It may be something may happen unexpectedly, very fast. And uh, let's see what it is. Let's see why there is a pentacles there, please. If you have been looking for a job opportunity, you will have one or you will get promoted. A very good job over. You have the five of challenges, two of boons in the reverse, and also the seeker of spells. A final decision will be made regarding this uh, connection with the fire sign, I, I mean uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. It had a lot of drama in the past, I think, but there will be some communication. Regarding two connections, they will message you or there will be communication. You have the Eight of Wands. Now, why it all happens? Six of Cups in the reverse. It was a deeply con uh, deep connection, in fact, and uh, it has been hard for you to disconnect from them. Uh, they may have been your close friend at the same time. Even though no one was uh, taking responsibility for their actions and blaming the other, I think uh, that's why some kind of... Uh, of being very stubborn on on solving those challenges that the relationship had. That's why it broke up, I think. Let's see one more card. This clarification why the Six of Cups in the reverse, please. Yes, two of Visions in the reverse. Very disconnection there. Someone cut the tie, gave up, and was being very mean and emotionally unavailable. That's why it broke up. And in the recent past, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, it seems like it was a waste of time of yours dealing with that person. Your feelings towards them, two of pentacles, and their feelings towards you will of fortune. They want to communicate, they want to move forward with this connection. Meanwhile, you are very indecisive and uh, weighing options. Should I think for them again, or I should move completely? So you are in kind of... Uh, being uh, unsure, I could say. Energy around you, five of wands. What you hope or fear, the strength and the potential outcome, the magician. So definitely the, there will be some action. The person that wants to communicate with you will do it. I think they will manifest it. Meanwhile, you are uh, you are holding too much and uh, being withdrawn too much i think resisting your your feelings maybe that you have for them and you don't like that that because it causes you too much of a stress uh, meanwhile you have the five of wands as the energy around you 
Meanwhile, we have the five of challenges again as the overall energy. Let's see. So moonlight, something you don't know. You are in the dark about it. But let's see why the five of wands there, please. The weaver of spells. The lovers in the reverse. And also the challenges in the reverse. At the bottom, the white heart in the reverse. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. It is regarding to this disconnection with your person that is in your mind. And uh, I think you were deeply hurt, but you are getting over it. What I don't like here is the energy of possible emotional drama. Again, if you engage with this person. That's what I don't like here as the energy. So, if they come back and if they message you, I guess they will. Because we have the Eight of Wands at the center of the reading. The, the overall energy Ace of Pentacles. And the Magician. So, there's a high possibility they will contact you. But uh, what I, as an advice for you, it would be that uh, you better address all those challenges, be more logical when you meet them, and not jump right into the deep sea of emotions and uh, without uh, discussing first. If I want to be with you again, now I have some healthy boundaries, and here they are. What I don't like about the previous connection, because I sense that if you engage again, and uh, if you don't solve those challenges, or if you don't address them, there will be challenges again in the connection. And I think you are coming from a very hurtful one. You are healing, but it was very hurtful to you. So that's my suggestion or advice for you, Gemini. So Gemini, this was your reading. I hope it was uh, helpful. If you like to support the channel and say thank you for this reading, I highly appreciate it. If you donate to this channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash WMTarot. The link is also in the description below. See you on the next reading and bye for now.